just, uh, oh, totally terrifying. That would be the worst thing that could ever happen. Can you imagine curling your eyelash, sneezing, and like ripping all your eyelashes out? Makeup is dangerous, especially this device. Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We are testing out a palette that does it all. It's also $95, which kind of takes your breath away a little bit, but at least there are a ton of different items in here for us to test out, play with, see how they wear all day long, and this is from Chanel. Ooh, Chanel. I have actually never done a WTF on anything Chanel. I don't know how that happened because I've tried like every other luxury brand out there, but this has just never made its way into this series until right now, which I want to point out one thing that is kind of making me want to pull my hair out. I thought this was the holiday palette. It's not. I went to the counter and I was like, what do you have that's new? What do you have that's holiday? What is something that I absolutely need? And they're like, this is for holiday. It's not holiday. Um, but it's still really beautiful, exciting, and something different. I think it is limited. This is the travel makeup palette. Let's just crack right into here. Ooh, oh, hello. You know how I always say that I don't like the velvet covers on expensive makeup? I mean, everybody does this from Guerlain to Tom Ford. It's, you know, everything's in this little pouch and you're like, what am I really gonna do with that? Should I save it? Every time I do my eyeshadow in the morning, should I like take the case off and have a moment with my makeup because I don't have time for that, so I always get rid of them. But being that this is a travel palette, I think I will keep this. It has a nice uh, band right here that kind of secures the whole case on top of the palette. I don't know, I think it's really pretty. The size of mirror in here is so helpful if you are specifically gonna be using this for travel. I always know that when I'm you know, traveling here, there, everywhere, sometimes lighting in hotel rooms is just horrible. It's horrible, it shows you everything that you really don't wanna see. So I always try to find a window and kind of set up my makeup and do makeup in natural light, but I never bring a mirror with me. So to me, I'm like, ooh, this is perfect. I don't have to really worry about it breaking, slip it in my carry-on, and I have everything I need right here as well. So I have a lot of hope for this palette. I'm gonna scoot you guys a little bit closer and we are going to do a full-on makeup look in here. You get five eyeshadows, two lipsticks, three glosses, a blush, a setting powder, a couple of little applicators that we'll see if they're horrible or actually good. This is a Chanel mascara. This is not the volumizing mascara that I don't like at all whatsoever, that they actually oddly enough gave me samples of, and I'm like, I can't escape this, why? Um, I don't like this mascara. To me, it clumps and smudges and burns my eyes. But you know what? I'm ready for round two. I haven't tried any other Chanel mascaras. This is the Inmitable. Am I saying that correctly? I sure hope so. But this one looks really nice. The brush looks great. I'm going to give it a solid try. And let's just start playing with the makeup. We're gonna start with eyes. So I'm gonna go in and take a MAC 217 brush. I'm gonna grab this shade right here, this peachy shade, and go all over the lid. That is not what I was expecting. But that's really pretty, right? I love how I actually think that you guys can talk back at me while I'm sitting here alone talking to the camera. But you know what? You can leave it in the comments below and agree with me. This is really, really pretty, right? Now I'm gonna take a MAC 224, and this is something I normally don't do, but we're taking this purpley shade. It's a little bit shimmery, and I'm gonna kind of go on the outer edge and a little bit up into the crease. Normally, I don't like using anything with shimmer in the crease, but we're just gonna hope for the best and see what happens. I'm now gonna take a Makeup Geek Defined crease brush and I'm gonna go in the bronzy shade. These are blending really nice. I'm gonna take a little bit of whatever excess is on this brush and just go under the lower lash line. Freaking makeup faces that I made. And even though it's totally daytime, I'm gonna take that darkest shade and just barely tap into here. I'm really just grabbing a tiny little bit, same brush, and I'm going to press that on the very outer edge. And I decided I wanted a little more, 
So it just was not, I thought it would be more pigmented, but it turns out this actually is not as pigmented. So now I'm gonna switch back to the MAC 224 and just kind of make sure that everything is blending together. And something that I'm really enjoying that I see is no fallout. I love it when shadows blend well, give me a lot of color and don't have fallout. That's like high on the criteria list. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this white shade. Ooh, that's super pigmented. And I'm just going to accentuate the center part of my lid. I am now going to try the mascara. You guys always ask when I do mascara tryouts that I don't line my eyes and that we really get a good feel for just how much oomph a mascara can give. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And that is getting freaking everywhere. Not so sure about me and Chanel mascaras, they just don't want to work out for me. Something that's kind of cute in here, the brush that they give you, it actually, it folds up so that it lays really tidy and small and cute in the compact itself, and then you can fold it open. Isn't that kind of cool? Uh, so I'm gonna use this for powder, and then I will put blush on top. I mean, this is not ideal. I don't like this tiny of a brush for powder, but I wanted to try it out. I would probably travel with brushes anyway. I'm gonna try out the blush. This is really cool toned. I'm curious to see <clears throat> how it works out. That is a really pretty blush. Okay, so now we're on to lips. And I'm going to line my lips with Makeup Forever. This is their new high precision lip pencil. This is number 14. I'm gonna take the top shade, which is a lipstick first. Now we're getting into the glosses and I really do like Chanel gloss. So I'm gonna take this peachy shade. Holy moly. All right. That is really sticky and gel-like, and it has so much glitter in it. Does not feel that great, but it does look really, really pretty. So I just put on my ColourPop highlighter, and I'm kind of laughing that the thing I'm enjoying the most about this entire expensive Chanel look is my super inexpensive ColourPop cream highlight. It's beautiful though, right? So it's now making me question everything else. Like, could you get this look done on a budget? Absolutely. I think that these shadows did blend well. They're pretty. The blush was nice. It's pretty. But there's nothing that's making me go, oh my God, everybody run out and grab this right now. The only thing that's really making me go, this is kind of cool, is the convenience of being able to toss this in your travel bag and really having a lot of product to create a look very easily and quickly. But beyond that, I hate the mascara. Ugh, I feel like I'm like bald eyes today, but I'm going to do my day just like this. I want to give you guys a really good uh, solid, you know, opinion at the end of the day of what this product did, how long the shadows wore, how the lipstick wore. I'm going to try different colors throughout the day as well. Let's actually swatch a few before I go and do my day. Let's take a look at the shadows. You have this gorgeous purple shade. You have a beautiful pinky peach that looks much more colorful and peachy in the actual palette than it does swatched or on the lid. Then you have this icy silver white, you have a bronze chocolatey brown, and a rich kind of espresso brown. Then you have a beautiful face finishing powder, a cool toned blush, and then you do get two lipsticks. They are very mauve purple undertoned. Everything in here has kind of a mauve vibe to it. And then you get three glosses that are very, very chock full of micro glitter and they are very gel-like. So that's the palette, 95 bucks. You do also get that horrible mascara. I just don't like it. I'm gonna keep saying that all day long, but that is the kit itself. So let's just see now how this makeup wears and I'm gonna do a bunch of check-ins and I will see you guys in a little bit. And it has been about four hours of wear time. I just chowed down on an entire pizza by myself. Um, basically the point of that is that I made a huge mess of myself. I got like 
powdered flour everywhere and every trace of lipstick gloss liner is gone. So I am going to try out another color. That's why I wanted to sit down and kind of do this check-in in front of my profesh camera instead of my vlog camera. I'm gonna go on with this right here and maybe this pink on top. Side note, effing love this lip liner. It is so good. It is like one of the best, creamiest, most wonderful lip liners from Make It Forever. That is like hot pink. I'm not loving this for the price especially, so, but stay tuned. I'm still gonna take you with me throughout my day. Puka, oh, you wanna play? Do you wanna play? Huh, 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 you wanna play? Where's your toy? Puka, where's your toy? Yes? My makeup sucks today. I don't want to talk about it. Looks no, it looks bad. Look at no for ninety five dollars. For ninety five dollars, you should not have eyeshadow creases. You can do creases. better at the drugstore. Yeah, I can't. I mean, I'm gonna do a video very soon that will surprise you guys. What's up, Chanel? All right, my phone is blowing up. I'm so popular. I need to go. <laughs> I'm really not. It's probably my mom. Okay, bye. Why is it that I am wearing 95 freaking dollars worth of Chanel and the only thing I like is my Hello Kitty for ColourPop highlight? Just saying. Fur Kitty? Hello Fur Kitty. Hello Kitty. <laughs> Hello for ColourPop. Something like that. So, something you don't know. Mm -hmm. After furniture shopping, we're gonna go looking for stuff in the kitchen. Oh. What kind? For what? We need, what? We're going to look for new plates for Thanksgiving dinner. We don't have a table. Well, we broke half of our plates <laughs> when we were moving. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, literally, we have we have two plates left now. <laughs> we just realized we moved, and we're inviting people over very casually, like open door to you know friends and family, and we don't have a dining room table. It's going to be Thanksgiving, fancy plates, on the couch or floor. Or uh, the, we'll make the it counter. Work. Or the counter, but there's not that much space at the counter. I like your thoughtfulness, though. Thank you. All right. No, seriously, honey, you're like so accustomed to wearing false lashes all of the time. This is not true. Okay, yeah, massive exaggeration, but yeah, you're accustomed to wearing no, false lashes all the time. No, but I'm also accustomed to mascara doing a lot more than just this. Okay, but let me like... tell you something about this mascara right here. It sucks so bad. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I love home decor. I'm embarrassed to be in such a fancy store with my makeup looking so run down. It looks like, I don't know, like there's none left. I am saying that this is such a not worth it WTF, um, but I just wanted to do a check-in. We are now wandering around in Beverly Hills. There's James. I look like I'm wearing zero makeup. That really sucks. Is this because you're not wearing lashes? Dang it. No, it's more than that. The eyeshadow's gone. Hi. Good, thank you. I'm at my absolute worst makeup Lee. It's makeup. Get Sucked. Get <laughs> <laughs> Do not buy me. This is a waste of money. You know what? This is the thing. The guy at the counter is like, ooh, this is the new holiday collection. It's not, not the holiday collection. What's it? What is it? No. Look at how fingerprinty this is, too. I just, I'm finding other things that I just don't like about it because I don't like how it performed. I need to close out this video because I don't even want to be on camera. To travel like makeup this. palette. Yes. You know is. what? That thing needs to travel far away because it sucks. <laughs> okay. Bye, James. Thank you. You guys.
do not buy this. This is horrible, not good quality. I don't think the quality is the same as other Chanel eyeshadows, lip products, face product, blush. This is just a shame. I normally am not so hard on product. I absolutely thought that Chanel being like Chanel would totally knock it out of the park. I am really crazy disappointed. And then as a total topper, I don't like mascara whatsoever. So I'm gonna say that this is an absolute pass. It is not often that I really am disappointed by a higher priced item. More often than not, you know, they're pretty great. So this is a huge shock to me, but I'm happy that I tried it out and I was able to show you guys, you know, what the wear actually looked like throughout the day. My eyeshadow is almost completely gone. Obviously the lip stuff was pretty uncomfortable and nothing really crazy beautiful about it. It was pretty typical lip product. The powder did not layer on top of anything very well when I went to touch up at all. The blush kind of disappeared. I mean, it's all through and through, just not worth your dollar bills. So save your cash, get something else, and that's where we're ending this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this even though it turned out to be kind of a dud item. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.